let's try an example to design a member subjected to bending and compression concurrently. A member is designed to carry a combined major axis moment, which is moment in the y axis and an axial force. Determine the maximum bending moment that can be carried out by a 457 times 191 times 98 UB in the grade of 235 steel in the presence of the axial load of 1400 kN. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve this example, first you need to determine the section property. Obtain the section's property from the table of property and it is outlined here. Next, you determine the yield strength of the member. The steel grade is S235. The thickness of the flank and the web is less than 40 mm, therefore, referring to table 3.1, the yield strength it will be 235 Newton per mm square. Substitute the Fy into the equations, the epsilon is obtained as 1.0. Next, we go for the classifications of the sections. The classifications of the web and the flanks are given here. Based on the graphical presentations given by table 5.2, you will be able to obtain the relevant C and also the relevant T. Obtain the C per T ratio and then compare against the limits. It is found that the C per T ratio for the flank is less than the limit for class 1, therefore, the flank is considered as class 1. As for the web, it is greater than class 1 but less than class 2, therefore, the web is considered as class 2. With that, the entire section is considered as class 2. Next, refers to clause 6.2.9.1. Under the conditions when bending and axial force appear, we need to know whether if there are any reductions required. Check if the reduction is required. The question mentions a uh, bending in the major axis that means it is yy axis. In this case, we shall refer to this slide on this yy axis. With that, we are to check the limits. If the mom if the axial force exceeded the 25% or 50% of the capacity of the cross sections or the web. The axial force is 1400 kN and the axial resistance is given by this equation which is equals to 2937.5 25% of it, it will be equals to 734.4 In this case, the NED is actually greater than the 25% of the capacity Therefore, the condition is not satisfied. And you may also check also for the 50% of the resistance given by the web. And the 50% resistance is 573.3, which is also less than NED. So that means both condition is not satisfied. So when this is not satisfied, that means there will be reduction in the moment. According to Eurocook, both must be satisfied in order to have no reduction in terms of moment. In the case that one satisfied and another is not satisfied, there shall be reductions of the moment as well. Next, we need to determine the reduction factor for the moment. It is in the function of the load ratio and also the web area ratio as obtained from these two equations. 
Substitute the relevant equations, you obtain the load ratio equals to 0 0.48 and the wet area ratio is equals to 0 0.40. The wet area is determined by the area highlighted in red here. So it is in the functions of the entire A minus 2 BTF then that will be the effective wet area. The MPLYRD is the moment capacity without any reductions. Substitute the relevant value into the equations, you obtain the reduced moment as 342.2 kNm. This should theoretically be less than moment without reductions. With that, we'll know that under the Asia force, the maximum allowable bending moment in the yy axis it will be 342.2 kNm.